How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video where today we're on the last explore of day three on the Liverpool road trip. Today's explore is a abandoned school with an amazing history. Honestly, I'll be doing the history in a second, so please do stick around for that. Not only is it an old building, grade two listed building with some awesome history behind it, but there's also some quite cool stuff in terms of TV programs and stuff that have been filmed there as well. I will just say though that this place was a really cool site and we wanted to get into more of it. Unfortunately, some of the parts of the building were blocked off and there's no way of getting into them. And as you'll see, a lot of them are really, really well secured. So although I would have loved to have shown you everything that was inside the building, we couldn't get in. But a decent portion of the place we did see, so you guys will get to see that today. So without further ado, let me pass you over to my self doing the history. <laughs> so originally the school was built as a private home for James Latham and his family. The commission for the build was taken up by James Francis Doyle and was completed between the years of 1884 and 1885. Soon after, the Latham family moved in, James, his wife Caroline and son and daughter Gerald and Georgina. Unfortunately, this wasn't to be the happy home that they had hoped for, as in just five years, James's wife passed away, and unable to contemplate living in the house without her, he and the children moved out and back into a previous address. But within a matter of months, James himself also passed away and was buried on the 16th of December, 1890. After this, the house stood abandoned for a few years, until it was acquired by the Cunningham family, who moved into the property in 1894. Danson Cunningham, the father of the family, had a disabled son, and was a huge advocate for the needs of disabled children and children with special needs, and pioneered outings for children in the local area with difficulties. He would take the children and their carers out for the day in their expensive cars, which is how he got to know Liverpool's first female mayor, who I won't name purely because the school was named after her. At some point after 1920, after Danson's death in 1915, Liverpool City Council acquired the building and turned it into a school for children with special educational needs. I'm not actually 100% sure when the school opened, as I was unable to find this information online, but I'm pretty sure it's after the 1920s sometime. In the 1960s, the school was extended with a newer building next to the former Victorian house, and remained this way until 2004. When the school was deemed as surplus to needs, the students were all incorporated into other local schools and the doors were closed. Abandoned for seven years until the CBBC TV show, Young Dracula, moved their entire production from Wales to Liverpool and set up base in this old school. Using many parts of the building to film in, the newer 1960s buildings for shots of the school, and the older, more gothic looking main building for the main character Young Dracula's family home. The show was pretty well loved and aired a total of five seasons with the finale being aired in March 2014 as an hour long special. But since then, the site has once again been left abandoned, and unfortunately a couple of years ago was the victim of an arson attack that destroyed much of the newer parts of the building. Luckily, the main building from 1885 seems to have survived the worst of it, but who knows what lies in store for the future of this building. Video. Uh, we are in an abandoned school currently at night, a very creepy abandoned school. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just met with the other guys. Can you guys see what we find? But this place is proper creepy apparently. How's it going then? It's scary, mate. I don't like it. Really? We think we found a noose or something. Honestly, the rope is in the wrong place and it's been cut. Yeah. And it's literally hanging about that height. Yeah. And the cut on it doesn't look good. Right, this is definitely one we're sticking together on. Oh, that's quite cool. It's cool, isn't it? Guys, check that out. Abandoned gymnasium. I haven't actually done one of these in ages. I think when I first uh, explored a school, I did one a bit like this. Not as nice as it actually, to be honest. Um, but since then, I haven't done another one. What is this? It's a weird room. Oh, it's just a bit of fucking rope. Come on. That could be literally anything. 
It feels, don't you feel something? No. No? No. That is genuinely just a bit of rope. And let's be honest, the height... It's just been cut. But I'm fucking short. Anyone of normal height. Wow, it's very true. <laughs> I'm more creeped out by the, the room. I don't understand what this room is. It's really yeah, odd. It's creepy, I mean, you've got the old kind of wooden archway there as well, which is kind of strange. So this is an absolute punt in the dark. I have no idea if this is true. It might not be. It's just a thought I had while editing the video. Obviously, we know this place was used for the filming of Young Dracula, and I wondered maybe if this was possibly used as a set at some point, because that would explain the archway, which, to be honest, is very out of character with the rest of the building, and also the fact that the room is completely stripped bare, because possibly when they finished filming, they would have taken away every single part of it, the whole set design, etc., and that would leave a very bare, plain room. But like I said, I have no idea if that's true, it's just an idea I had, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Actually, I just want to jump in here and say I'm recording this after I recorded the first voiceover, and actually since then I was looking for clips of the TV show to match up with bits that we filmed on location. And as you guys can see from this particular clip from the TV show, this room looks to me like it was young Dracula's kind of lair, and you can quite clearly see the arch in the background, and what you can see as well hanging from a rope is a punching bag. So I believe that the rope, like I said, was not a noose and was actually just the rope holding up the punch bag and this room actually was part of the show so that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, back to the explore. Guys, I don't know what it is, we keep finding random bits of bikes and trikes and stuff everywhere. Very odd. You good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be anywhere but here. <laughs> The last close of the hanged man. Why? <laughs> Fuck, I'm not even filming. <laughs> Someone go in front of me, I have a shit camera and I keep seeing me in fucking shadow. <laughs> I think you're spooking yourselves, that's the problem. You just yeah, calm you down a bit. Fucking girl all about. Whatever the fuck you're going on about. The last close of the hanged man. <laughs> Don't jump out of me because I will really be fucking pissed off if you do. Just to be clear, I'll fucking go over and lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Coroner Stu have gone, but um, it is deathly quiet right now. Sorry, that probably wasn't a great use of words, was it? <laughs> deathly quiet. Deathly quiet. <laughs> Guys, check this out. We've just come into what I think is the woodwork room. We've got some examples of their work. I don't know. Up the top here. Are there different kind of joins, I reckon? Oh, yeah, there could be. Yeah, it's good, good shout. And then just down here, we've actually got a grinding machine, which is pretty cool. Check this out. It's literally a whole example of like the different kinds of hardwood. It's actually really cool to sort of see this sort of stuff left. Especially if it's going to left in situ as well, where it would have been. God, it smells of burning in here. Yeah. Yeah, you can see why. <laughs> I think this may be where the fire was, because that has melted. Hi guys, we're back outside now. Just gonna see if we can find some other bits to look at because that isn't the whole place. The place is absolutely huge. It really did show fun on this place. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this place is absolutely huge. So this isn't all of it, but um, yeah, we're gonna get into one small section alone. So fingers crossed, we can find another bit. Thorns. Get off. I'm going to light this up so you guys can actually see it. But this is the main building. It's pretty cool. And that's where we're trying to get into right now. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. That, the amount of barbed wire they've got there is mad.
We've had another fire in here as well, bugs. Got more burn marks out there. Yeah, there's definitely fire. Cuts from the sheeting. Oh yeah. I've definitely done a serious job on this. Yeah. So, uh, in case you guys didn't hear that, because I know it's quite windy, you probably can't hear very much. But basically, we don't think there's a way into it. They've proper, proper secured everywhere. So even like the upstairs windows, they've done all the sheeting on that. So Colin would say they've had to have a cherry picker out here to literally do every single one of the windows. And all that barbed wire as well, all the razor wire and that stuff up there, that's, that's incredible. Can't believe how much of that is up there. The thing is, that looks quite old. Like it's been here a while. Hopefully it wasn't <laughs> wasn't there when the kids were here. Jesus. Like it's just above my head, the razor wire just there. Absolutely crazy. Right guys, so we've just found another building just here. Apparently, kind of said it's quite creepy because all the tables and chairs are left in the situ, which they are. God, look at that. Um, but obviously, there's been a fire. God, that's really, <laughs> that's quite creepy actually. Oh, yeah, they are as well. Look at that. The chairs themselves are actually still tucked under, but just burnt. And obviously, what's left is the metal, rusted metal. School should not be like this, man. School no. is meant to be a safe place for children to learn. And this oh. just doesn't feel nice, you know? What school did you go to? My school fell out of hell. Well, yeah, did you go to yeah. school in, did you? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Actually, it looked like this when I came here. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not going to stay in this bit for too long because the, I'm worried about the roof. But I do want to quickly have a look through here. This actually looks a little bit better. It hasn't been hit quite as hard. Yeah, look at that. That other one is mad though, like the fact that the uh, chairs are still tucked under. Oh wow, guys, check this out. There's an old computer here as well, but you can see all the inside because it's been smashed. And there's actually the old keyboard as well. And that's in much better condition. Look at that. And that was it for that location. Oh, it's such a shame we couldn't get into the main building. I would have loved to have seen what was in that, honestly. I reckon a lot of the old set pieces for young Dracula and that are inside that main building, and that's why it's so well secured. That, and also the fact that it's quite obvious that somebody is actually trying to look after that main part. Compared to the rest of the place, which as you saw was quite trash, that's had arson attacks, fires, etc. That particular part of the site was definitely being well looked after 
over the other parts of the site. It was quite obvious. So, uh, yeah, at least someone is taking care of it. I'd like to see someone do something with it and not just leave it to rot. It shouldn't just be sat there falling to pieces. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next week for the last explore of the Liverpool road trip. See you then. Bye. Wrapping a rag around my face, I pull my hoodie on. This ain't no time for rookies young. Got my octo camel on. Still the wind can't be worried about no five or special ops. I keep my composer steady, thunder the follow go, cause I'm off the top. Come on.